Hi, this is Gary with MacMos Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new gatekeeper function in Mountain Lion. So gatekeeper is a new security measure that's in Mountain Lion that allows you to basically say only allow apps from the Mac App Store to be installed on this computer. Alternatively, you can also say, well, also allow apps that are signed by an official developer to be installed on the computer. Or your third option is to turn Gatekeeper off and then things will operate as they did in Lion and any OS before that. Let me show you. So the Gatekeeper settings are found in Mountain Lion in System Preferences and you go to Security and Privacy and under General you'll see them listed here. You have to unlock in order to access them. So here are the three options. So if you set it to the first one, that means only software from the Mac App Store can be installed. If you try to download software from another website or you get software via email, something like that, it won't let you install it. However, you can still install software from optical disks. So for instance, if you buy something like Microsoft Office on disk and you want to install it in your iMac, you can still do that. This only applies to the network for getting software off the internet. Now the second option allows you to install software from the Mac App Store as before. But in addition to that, it allows you to install software from developers' websites as long as the developer has signed up with the Apple's Mac Developer Program and they sign their apps with their unique identifier that Apple gives them. This provides accountability. Basically, the developer has identified themselves with the software and it makes sure that you know they're held accountable if the software is actually some sort of malware, which is going to be highly unlikely if they're signing up for this program and identifying themselves to Apple. And in the extreme case that software misbehaves, then Apple has the ability to identify that piece of software and send out signals through its malware protection software to actually disable it. Uh, probably that will never happen as the accountability here is pretty strong. So it's kind of a second level and expect to see some developers use this. The Mac App Store has pretty strict restrictions on what software can do. For instance, uh, utilities that access the operating system and do various different things can't be in the Mac App Store. So some of the more tech geeky tools will not be in the Mac App Store but may be available from the developer on their sites as a signed app and you'll be able to install it if you have the second option selected. Now the third option, and you can see when I select it, it's actually going to make sure that that's what I want to do, sets everything up like every OS before. You can install software from anywhere. You can download it from a website, doesn't need to be signed, and you can install it. Malware protection is still in place. This is separate from malware protection. So everything that you had in line is available, including malware protection, if you select anywhere. Now there might be some developers who don't want to be part of the Apple Developer Program but they're perfectly legitimate developers. You may also work in an environment where you have all sorts of software traded back and forth between say students at a university, uh, part of classroom work, uh, at a work environment where apps are developed and, and used in-house and there's no need to actually go out to Apple and have them certified. So uh, this might be useful for those folks. Now it's easy to switch back and forth between these as you can see. So there's no harm in setting yourself to being Mac App Store only and then if you do need to install another piece of software you can temporarily change it and go ahead and then change it back after installing it. The Mac App Store setting is ideal if you're maintaining a computer used by a non-tech savvy family member. It makes sure they don't go installing things when you're not around and then running into trouble. So you can set it to that and then if they really need something you can go in and change the setting, help them install that software and then change it back. The best thing about Gatekeeper is it's there if you need it and want to use it. And if you don't want it, you can just turn it off. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.